Hey there YouTube, I'm Jean and welcome to Crypto Picks. Today I'm going to talk about my top three coins to buy before the Segwit fork. Also it's pretty much the top three coins to buy for November. This is all my opinion and based off of my own research. So basically alts have been dropping and dropping and they just don't seem to be stopping. Hopefully after this fork the alts will pump, new money will come in and we will reach new all-time highs. I'm going to talk about four sections for each of these three coins. First, I'm going to give you the idea, the features that they have, any key dates that are coming, and then their market cap. Talk about their price now to their all-time high, their volume, what exchanges they're on. So again, this is just a brief summary so that you can do your own research and decide if you like these. Well, let's get started. My first coin is actually a coin I've never covered before. It's called Metal. Metal is looking to act as the bridge to Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency. Their goal is to bring financial services to small and medium sized businesses. They claim that they are very similar to Venmo or PayPal. If you scroll down, we can touch a bit on their features. Powerful, take control of your money with actual digital cash. Instant lightning clearance time on every transaction. Integrated metal connects you to your bank accounts. Gamified, earn metal, loyalty coins, and more as you spend. Secure. We keep your personal data safe through encryption. Solid metal employs fraud, disrupting pe people and technologies. Connected, send payments to friends and families with a click, just like PayPal. Legendary, world-class technical support. And then serious, zero compromise on compliance. These are their features. If you look in the white paper, they have a little bit more information, but I'm like I said, this is a super brief description on all the coins. So key updates. As you can see, October 30th, they have the official alpha release. And then November 27th, they have a sponsored event. Obviously, the November 30th is big. It's actually the number one hottest event for CoinMarketCal.com. So this is going to be big. The question is, is the price factored in already? I think it will still go up. And several people close to me that are super good in this field believe it will also go up. Now, Metal's market cap compared to its all-time high. Metal is currently at 158,000 sats, around, as you can see, $9, with a $174 million market cap. Its all-time high reached back in September around $14, 270 million sats. Compared to its all-time high, this doesn't have a huge jump, but I think this coin has significant promise for now and in the future. You check their volume, their volume is almost $5 million. That's a huge volume. Their markets, you can buy from uh, Binance, Bitrix, Cryptopia, pretty much the big, the big dogs. I really like Bitrix and Binance. If I were to buy this coin, that's where I would go. Granted, I don't mind Cryptopia, even though a lot of people can't stand that place. Now for my next coin, which everyone knows about, InvestFeed. I love this coin. I know there's a lot of people that just don't seem to see the promise in this coin as much as I do, but I really believe in this coin. The updates that they're bringing out are super frequent. Rocco is on Telegram. He's super active here. I love everything about this platform and this coin so far. So as we all know, InvestFeed is a cryptocurrency epicenter that brings together a community with the goal of revolutionizing the way we invest in and develop blockchain technology. So just some of their features, it's a reward-based system for users and content contributors, premium content, advanced trader tools, advanced portfolio analysis, there's going to be tipping, there's a bunch, and I mean a bunch of additional features that will be added and they seem to be working extremely hard on, which is super exciting to me. So in terms of key updates, I had this quote directly from Rocco and Telegram today. He says, in terms of November, everything we've been developing and mentioned will hopefully be implemented by the beginning of November. We're hoping to roll things out starting even as early as the end of this week, beginning of next week. So also from Rocco, he says, if you look at InvestFeed Developer Diary 5 and 6 on their Medium, which I will post below in the description so you can check it all out, that most of those features should be added in November or before. So we have tipping, 
there will be a tipping mechanism with a peer-to-peer -peer payment system. The default rate is one invest fee token. Also finishing up their first release of advanced charting. There's gonna be more customization for user profile featuring career experience, articles, description, and more. They are working on a secondary form of user authentication through Civic. That's exciting. And much, much more. So go check their development diary five and six for all the updates coming soon. Again, I'll link it below. You can click it and check it all out. Now, InvestFeed's market cap, uh, it's currently around 775 sats, around 4.3 cents, 8.3 million market cap. It's all time high was about 11 cents, 21 million market cap, 2,500 sats. If you can just get to there from where we are now, that is three times gain. I believe when they get all this updates coming out, the tip system, I think monetization is coming out, this should push it up high. Plus there's a huge community that is in love with this platform. And I think once the advanced charting comes out, we can get some big YouTubers, big people that love to chart on here, which could make this platform so much more valuable than it already is. The only thing that worries me, there's two. First is the volume. The volume is only 57,000, super small volume. This could be because it's on Cryptopia and Coin Exchange. Those are the two main exchanges. I personally like to buy from Cryptopia. The volume is much higher and it's just a much better exchange. In my opinion, every time I go on Coin Exchange, I swear it says that they're halting trading because of some kind of issue and I cannot stand that. So with that being said, we're going to move to our third and final coin, ARK. So ARK is actually a coin I have never covered before on my channel. I have a friend that is super bullish on ARK, seems to love it. So I checked it out and I'm actually liking it a lot too. Their project idea, they aim to create an ecosystem of linked chains and virtual spider webs that make ARK highly flexible, adaptable, and scalable. Their features include a proof of stake token. ARK has smart bridges, which allow for communication among validated bridge blockchains and create a unifying bond among different ecosystems. Also privacy. ARK users have the optional privacy when sending ARK transactions throughout all the services developed on the ARK platform. Now their key dates, they actually had kind of a confusing roadmap. It's not like any one I've ever seen before. As you can see, they kind of give a percentage of how far they are, not really dates of when they're going to have them out. I actually kind of like this. It doesn't give anybody a set date. So if they miss it, people get pissed off. It just shows them, look, we're almost done get ready. And you can see first they have the mobile wallets. Then we have integration of multiple other languages. That's 76% complete. Deployment of testnet clones for startups. And then we finally have the wearable devices and hardware wallets. Now, of course, this is assuming this is all updated. I'm not too sure. I couldn't really find anything that showed if it was or not. This is exciting though, to see that ARC has several milestones that are like 75% or higher in completion. That's exciting. That shows that they have huge potential towards the end of the year. And after this SegWit 4 could really pump. Now, if you look at their market cap, ARC, of course, 250 million, 44,000 sats, $2.50. Their all time high was on September 15th, around $4. 391 million market cap, 120,000 sats. So this one doesn't have a huge jump if you compare to market cap, but if you compare to sats, it's actually significant. Their volume is almost 2 million. That's pretty good. We're looking at Bitrix, Cryptopia, and Cost. I actually like Cost, Cryptopia, and Bitrix. Of course, Bitrix, as I said, is my most favorite exchange. So that's where I would buy. This one, I believe, has great potential towards the end of the year, and especially November, should show some huge return as long as alts go back to normal and stop dipping which hopefully as i've said we all hope happens so those are my three coins metal invest feed and arc i've showed you key updates that they have coming i gave you a little brief description of what they are their features and then kind of compared their market cap now to their all-time high so you get a good idea of at least their potential if they reach their all-time high I believe these coins could all reach new all-time highs and I hope and cross my fingers that they do. Uh, if you found this helpful at all, like and subscribe. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.